Hello and welcome. Please pause this video, read the problem, and try it on your own. All right, let's read it together. It says, in the equation, and I'm gonna, I like to write these things out as I read them, it slows me down. x squared plus 10x plus 24 equals parentheses x plus a times x plus b. Now we know b is an integer. Let's break that apart. B is a positive or negative whole number, and that includes zero. So integers are positive or negative whole numbers, including zero, and that's what it is. Um, so as we go forward, we should keep that in mind. Find algebra algebraically um, all possible values of B. Huh, cool. Uh, so I have no idea how to solve this problem. I just read it for the first time as well, and I'm telling you that because um, it's really important to approach these things one step at a time and see what you can do. So right here, I notice that these two sides of this equation are equivalent. So it looks like to me, what I'm trying to do is get this trinomial into factored form. Because if I can do that, then I can figure out what A and B have to equal. So how do I do that? Well, to get factored form, it's a really good idea to set an equation equal to zero. Then we can use our product, our zero product property. So here, x squared plus 10x plus 24, let's say it equals zero. Let's find out what x is going to equal when the output y, you know we have a function or y here, is actually zero. So how do we factor this thing? Well, we would look for factors of 24 that add to 10. I know six times four is 24, and I know that six plus four is 10. So this will work. So the factored form of this trinomial looks like this. So believe it or not, you're actually done at this point. The two values that work for b are 4 and 6. Those are the numbers that could be put in those spots so that when you multiply uh, x plus 4 times x plus 6, you do get your original trinomial x squared plus 10x plus 24. You don't need to go any further. When I first solved this question, I kept going further and said that x is negative 4 and negative 6. Um, I was solving for x, but they don't want to know what x is here. They want to know what um, the numbers are that can be put in the spots where b and a are located. So b could equal 4 or 6 because those are interchangeable. All right, hope this helped.